2020 Grammys fashion. The Grammys were yesterday. Molly and I watched all 76 hours of it. <laughs> Okay, and as always, you know we're gonna talk about red carpet. Let's get into the red carpet. We'll start with Billie Eilish. So first, Billie, I give up. I give up. I give up. If you wanna be, if you wanna be in the Matrix, I'm gonna let you be in the Matrix. But I get, and before people, uh, you don't understand. She's trying not to say she don't. She doesn't want to be sexualized. I am all for that, a hundred percent. I am all. F I completely understand her not wanting to be sexualized. But there has to be another way. There has to be another way. The, give me something else. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. I understand not wanting people to see your body and comment on your body and being part of that conversation and wanting to be respected for for your music. But there has to be another way other than dressing like Missy Elliott in the 90s. Give me a break, come on, please. Next, Ariana Grande. Okay, this was like a moment on the red carpet. Truly like Cinderella, princess, out of a fairy tale moment for sure. Like everything stopped when she came out, you know? And we're always like looking for those like moments on the red carpet where you're like, oh, she did, she did it, you know? The, the makeup was false, the hair was great. Surprise, it was a ponytail. And then <laughs> the dress is gorgeous. But this is one thing that I'm gonna say. I think it's time, after this, I think it's time to retire the floof. It's time. You know, like, I, and we, can, we can put a pause on the floof and come back. We can bring it back at a later time, you know what I mean? But if I see, if, I mean, thank God it wasn't pink. I would have lost it, you know? <laughs> I think after we saw that Gian Battista Valli, we saw that everywhere, we saw that poof everywhere in every single color, every Easter egg color imaginable, you know? But I think after Rihanna did it, we should have pressed pause. And I get, you don't think that I wanna, I wanna be in the middle of this cotton ball. Like, I wanna do it, I wanna nest in this. And you know what, I will probably wear a floof in my life, 100%. So Ariana definitely like created you know, I love a moment. I love a moment, super, super cute. And then she changed. Why, why are we wearing a silky crop top and a carpet? Why are we doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Why do you hurt me? And then she changed a third time. We don't have a picture of it. Give it a Google. But she wore the same dress she always wears in emerald. And that's it, those were the moments. That was it, that's all she gave me. So she gave me floofy, she gave me gray carpet, and then she gave me safe emerald green ballroom gown. Okay, I'll put that in my pocket and I will take that. Okay, next, Haley. Okay, I wanna say that I saw this and I loved it. <laughs> I loved it, but I think this is why I loved it. I loved it because I imagined Rihanna with her short hair in it, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I cannot believe that this person is 23 years old and not 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, <laughs> next. Yes. yes, absolutely yes. This is old Hollywood, I love the throw. You know, and I love this moment. It was super, super cute. And, but I do love her second outfit more. I love the black look more. Oh, it was great. And you know what? I, I used to hear all the time in Southern, like black doesn't photograph well on red carpets. This is gorgeous. And she even had like the detail on her nails with the hanging jewels. I loved it all. I loved it all. This is glamour. This is old Hollywood glamour, and I'm here for it. Next. Oh, I appreciate Joe Jonas showing up in a bomber. <laughs> you know. I want you to look at me in the face and tell me that this is not a wig and a top hat away from being a sexy Mad Hatter Halloween costume. And you know, and this is a Sophie fan. I said Paige, no. This is like a Sophie fan show, you know what I mean? Like I'm pro Sophie all the time. There's nothing that she does and I'm just like, I, I love everything that she does. But this is, I'm gonna say it. I've been to Charlotte Russe. <laughs> I'm sorry, and especially the shoe. The shoe is so like, the shoe is so like 2010 Jeffrey Campbell. You know what I mean? And I'm just not, 
<laughs> we were all rooting for you. <laughs> okay, so next. I just, okay, what in the friggity fuck was happening today? I, so Priyanka, baby, you look like a solar panel. Like I, and you know what? I think that like you, JLo did it better. That's it, next. And you know what, I gotta give it, I talk a lot of, I talk a lot of shit. I talk a lot of shit. Danielle, even though you look scared out of your mind. I've got to give her her props. She was the best dressed wife out of the three Jonas wives, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm going to let her have it because she looks amazing. And I just have to say, God, no matter what. Once again, Kevin is overshadowed. I just like, <laughs> the man can't have a, he doesn't have one, one moment for himself. He must have been like, I look pretty good today. And then she walked out and he was like, God, fuck. <laughs> okay, next. I love the way that I live and die for him. I love him so. Right? <laughs> this is not Versace, but that is Versace. Okay. So I love it. I love a Versace moment, obviously. I feel like Gianna. G <laughs> no, Donatella. <laughs> I am so sorry. Donatella Versace must have like folded this and gave it. Like, this is something that I could totally see Donatella wearing in, like, 1990. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I think she wore something similar to the Met one year in black. I just love it so much. I love the studs on the cowboy hat. And I even texted Molly during this. This was, like, hour 14 of the Grammys. And I remember texting her being like, I don't know why this is giving me so much, like, Nicki Minaj energy. And she was like, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. And then while I'm on Twitter, I did not know that Lil Nas was a Barb account. I had no idea that he was like a Nicki Minaj fan account. And that became, and isn't it weird that a Barb won a Grammy before Nicki Minaj? Wow. But then over the weekend, over the weekend, I sent the recording to Molly, she didn't listen to it. Nicki Minaj did an interview, did an interview because it came up like, why don't you have any Grammys? And apparently there's a guy that's like one in the recording academy that she like disobeyed that she was doing all this promo with like LL Cool J one year. And they were like, okay, but we don't want you to perform. And she's like, no, I've done all these commercials. Of course I'm gonna perform. And she did that like um, the Catholic church. Remember when she came out like a Pope or something, like a nun, whatever, something like that. And there was so much backlash that she, she thinks that she's being punished and she will never get a Grammy. There is some gossip for you. Okay, next. Listen, I love this from the neck up. <laughs> and you know that I love my Billy. I love my Billy. But you're gonna look at me and tell me that this is not a share costume. <laughs> I see people and they're like, he ate this up, he ate this up. It's okay to love somebody and say, he was, this was not eating at all. <laughs> this was not eating. First of all, I'm gonna say the C word. It looks cheap. It does. It looks like he had a Project Runway challenge and I can see him with Tim Gunn hovering over him. Hmm, what do you got there? And he's like, he's like zzz, zzz, all night long under that, under that little lamp, zzz, zzz, like running for the challenge, you know what I mean? I see it. The way that I f can feel, the way that I can feel this fabric, the way that I know this fabric, and it's just bad fabric. Uh, the hat, however, I love. I love this hat. Two things. One, was the, out was the hat the idea first and they modeled this outfit after the hat? Two, do we only love the hat because it moves? You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but this looks, this looks like a, like this is ABBA. This is not fashion, this is ABBA, please. And like, I think, I think this is the thing. I'm always excited to see Billy Porter on the red carpet. And every red carpet, he always fucking hits it. He creates something that's so like glamor and beautiful and like effortless. But the last two red carpets, I've been like, Billy, were you busy? You know what I mean? Did you let stylists choose for you? Like, 
But then again, this is very fitted. He went to fittings. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. <laughs> Next. Okay, so this is one where um, Molly and I almost got into a fight because mm -hmm. I texted you confirmation because this is what I don't like. This is what I don't like. I don't like when I text somebody and they and I say, I love this, and then they say, well, everybody I'm with disagrees. <laughs> oh, you all do? Oh, really? Are you with Donatella? Hmm? So anyway, I love it. I love it. And a lot of people are like, ah, you know, she was like, she was going for a look, you know? Or maybe she's like trying to be a fashion girl and she's just not a fashion girl. And maybe I have to accept in my heart that I love this because I am tacky. <laughs> it's gonna be a yes for me. And you know what? Anything that looks like Xenon, I'm gonna go for. I love Xenon, I love Dua, okay? And I know that she can't dance and I still love her anyway. Okay, next. I hate it too. You hate it too. I hate it too. This looks like a cartoon character. And we see the boobs. I'm not gonna comment on the boobs, but we see the boobs. She wants us to see the boobs, you know? But the reason that I put this on the list is because I love this, I love this clip of them. The way that I love, I, I can feel it. I'm like, and when I see videos like this, I want to forget that he cheated on her relentlessly mm -hmm. for years on end in hotels, you know? <laughs> I want to forget. Because I do love them as a couple. I really feel like they love each other, and I feel like she really brings out his goofy side, you know? And he's, like, proud to have her besides, like, the cheating stuff. Let's see the clip one more time. I love it. But this is what I'm gonna say. Like, so every red carpet, I remember growing up watching red carpets, watching the VMAs, w watching Oscars, you know, and I feel like there were so many like iconic, timeless, pop culture, wow moments on red carpets and we just don't get them anymore. And I need stars, celebrities, people on the red carpet to stop playing safe. I feel it. I know that everybody is playing safe and they're just redoing outfits that have already gotten like rave reviews and gotten the best dress. They're just, except for Billy Porter. At least, you know what? Billy Porter, he might look, he might look the way that he looked, <laughs> but at least he's taking a risk. At least, he, at least he's playing, you know what I mean? Like he's reaching for new things. He's trying new things. At least that. You know, but everybody just looks exactly the same and we have to stop letting trolls on social media dictate whether we're gonna have a good night or not. You know, like if you're gonna get on that red carpet and you wanna wear something, you fucking wear it. Who cares what people with YouTube shows are gonna say? <laughs> you know, and I can feel, I can feel people like even Billie Eilish, when she won, she was, when she won all those awards, I, if the, the camera was on her and she was saying like, not me, not me, not me. And I kept thinking, is it because you know the backlash of people, like what the things that people are gonna say? Like, she doesn't deserve it, you know what I mean? Like, don't, be unafraid. Be unafraid of that person who's 42 years old in Maryland and has a Twitter account. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not, do better. That's my point, let's do better. And I will be wearing a floofy on every red carpet now. Okay, guys, we have more right after this break. That's my show. It's live weekdays at 12.30 p.m.